The explainer is a semi-autonomous robot used to inspect high voltage transmission lines. Nowadays what people do is either they use helicopters to check the lines from the top or they have to stop the transmission of electricity and send people to do this kind of job. So sometimes it's 80 meters, 100 meters above the ground and the people have to walk on the cables and just inspect them by hand. So it's a very dangerous job, it's very demanding and it's also very expensive to stop the transmission of electricity. So that's why we developed Explainer. With this machine, we don't need to stop the transmission of electricity. It can move on, on live lines. Here in Japan, we're using up to 500 kilovolts, but it could be used in 750 kilovolts, for example. When the robot comes up against obstacles while traversing the lines, it can manipulate its center of gravity to move around them. There is a, a huge number of obstacles to cross. There are cable spacers that are used to keep the distance between the lines constant. And those are still more or less easy to cross. But when we reach the tower, we have the suspension clamp, which is basically a metallic tool that is hanging the wires. And we have to find a way to cross that to continue to the next tower. So this is one of the strong points of Explainer. It was developed in order to be able to do some, we call them acrobatic motions on the lines to overcome the obstacles and continue inspecting. So for example, if we stretch this manipulator all the way to one side, we end up lifting the pulleys on the other side. By lifting the pulleys, then we can do those acrobatic modes I was talking about, rotate them outside or use them to overcome obstacles and so on. The robot uses eight cameras to inspect four lines simultaneously, continuously recording a 360 degree view of each line. It also records GPS information as well as the distance from the tower, so that any defects are not only easy to locate, but also so operators can track the deterioration of the lines over time. After inspection, the data is automatically processed on the ground, and any anomalies found, such as rust, defects, surface damage, or line diameter changes which can be indicative of internal corrosion are flagged for inspection. As for future applications, we have a few based on this concept, uh, operations based on works on the lines. Not only inspection, but really maintenance of the structure. But this is still under consideration.